All right, in this video, we want to see how we can create a layout file that would be shared among all the other components. So first, let's create a folder inside our JS folder. I'm going to call it layouts. Then within that, we will have a new document. Let's just call it layout.view. And within this, we will just have a simple template and basically an HTML navigation bar. So I'm going to have a header, then a nav. Within that nav, I will have a div with two anchor tags for now. One goes to forward slash and the text should say home. Then another one that goes to about page and says about. Then I'm going to have a main tag underneath and this is where we would have our slot. So this is just Vue.js. And then I'm going to add some styles here. All right, so that's it. This is our layout file. And now, of course, we want to use this in our other components. So let's go to our home page, for instance, and we want to wrap this whole thing with a layout component that we need to import. So let's create our script tags, and then we want to import layout from our layouts directory. And then within our template, we want to use that component and then move this h1 within and i'm just going to save it so it looks like this now let's go to the home page and we see our navigation up there and of course the text hello but there is a problem here if we inspect our site and go to view dev tools so if you don't have view dev tools you can download it from google chrome extension store but within our components tree you notice we have inertia then home then under home we have layout so in a way, a layout is a child of home component, which is not supposed to be. Now, we could do something about it. For example, if we go back to our home view, we could use the define options and pass layout and then use our layout as the default layout for this component. So I can get rid of these tags. And if we go back to our website and give it a refresh and also refresh the dev tools, now we can see that layout is a parent of home. So this is correct. But then again, the problem here is we are just applying it to the home page or home view. And we have to repeat this for all the pages in our application. So the best way is to create a default layout in our app.js. So in our resolve option where we are returning these pages we can save that into a variable let's call it page and then specify the default layout for that specific page so we can use that page variable and then say the default layout should be the default layout page if it exists otherwise is going to be our custom layout file so we need to make sure it is imported so we can use it then we can return that page so we made some changes in our resolve option or function that instead of returning the pages we would save that specific view or page and then we say if there is a default layout for it then use it otherwise use our custom navigation layout we just built so let's see how this looks i'm going to keep this home component as it is and go back to our website so we have our navigation on the home page but if we go to the about page we have it on this page as well and of course down here in our dev tool we have the same thing so this is quite useful because if i want to have a specific layout for my home page i could create one for example let's create a demo layout here and i'm calling it demo because i want to delete it just in a moment and then i will copy everything from this layout file and paste it here just change the background to green so we know it's different and then in our home page instead of using that layout one i'm going to use demo so change all of this to demo and we should see a green navigation on our home page. So let's go back to the home page. There we go. It's green on the about page is blue, which is the default one. So this is how we can create a simple layout file that would be shared among all the other pages. But also we would have the option to override that using the define options and then passing the layout down here. I'm going to get rid of this statement in our home view because we actually want the same layout for all the pages. Now, don't worry about these anchor tags that we are using. These are, of course, not the elements we want to use because this is just traditional page switch and we want to use a specific link element. So let's do that in the next video.